how are you learners? I hope you will enjoy my lesson today. And today I'm going to teach class 5 science. And in class 5 science, we are going to learn about plants. You know, in class 4, you learned about living things and non-living things. And the living things, you say they are animals and plants. And so today we are not going to focus on animals, but we are going to learn about plants. And for us to learn about plants, we have to know the external parts of a plant. And as you can see my diagram here, we are going to start with the roots. Roots is one of the external part of the flower of the plant. Number two, we have the stem. The stem is this part of the plant. Number three, I'll jump the fruit first. We go to the leaves. And then we have the flowers. So for us to have a plant, we have the roots, we have the stem, we have the leaf, we have the, got the flower, and at long last, we have the fruits. And now, after knowing the external parts of a plant, we are supposed to know what are the functions of the roots? What are the functions of the stem? What are the functions of the leaves? And also the functions of the flower and the fruit. So I'll start by saying the functions are part, part, and then here we are going to have the functions. Rather, it's very important for us to learn about plants. Plants are very important, uh, especially it is one of the components of the environment. And with the five components of the environment, plant is one of the basic things that also balance the other. You know, animals do not make their own food. They get their food from plants. We are human beings. We are animals. We are part of animals' kingdom. And so we have to learn about plants with the heart to know the importance of knowing the plant. So at the end of the lesson, you will know the functions of the roots in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the plant. Also the stem, also the fruit, the leaf and the flower. So Lana, the first thing you have to know is about the roots. And what are the functions of the roots? The roots are on the lower side of the plant. So the work of the roots is to absorb water and mineral salts. So the work of the root is to absorb uh, to absorb water and mineral salt. This is the major one. And you know it absorbs water and mineral salt from the soil. So the roots play a very major role of absorbing water and mineral salt. Number two, roots are used to support, to support the plant. Yeah, it is support the plant. So, the other function number two, the root is support the plant. Number three, in some plants, uh, the food of the plant is stored in the root. So, for example, we can say in cassava, cassava, our root, we eat the roots. So, actually, we can say one another function of the root, it is to store food in not all plants, but in some plants. So, how many functions do you have for the roots for today? We have absorb water and mineral salts. Number two, support the plant. Number three, store food in some plants. Not all plants that store food there. Then we can go number two. We have the stem. The stem has got its function. So one of the, the major functions of the stem is to transport. The major function of the stem is transport, and it transport, transport, transport water and mineral salt uh, from from the roots to the leaves. So the major work of the stem in our plants is to transport water and mineral salt from the roots to the leaves. Why to the leaves? We will learn about it. So number two, also the stem, it protects the inner part of the plant. Protect, protect the inner part of the, of the plant. 
So, you see, the inner part of the plant is very soft. So we need the stem to protect that inner part. So it also protects. The third one, it has, in some plants also, like sugarcane. Here we say, we can give an example of cassava. Cassava store its food, the stem, the roots. And also here we can say, store food in some plants. Some plants, like, e.g. we can say sugarcane. Sugarcane, very sweet. You like sugarcane? Sugarcane store its food in the stem, on the stem. So the other one, we can name many, but this, I think they are the major one. But also we can say, you see the stem puts the leaves and the fruit up for protection. So also the other, the other functions of the stem is to put the fruit, the leaves up, so that they are protected from destruction. So, the other one is, uh, allow me to lap this, the other one is the leaves, so you have the leaves, the other part of, you have the leaf, and then we can say leaf is the kitchen of the plant. This is where the, 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 the plant makes its own food. So, and making the food of the plant, we call it photosynthesis. So, this is the kitchen of the plant, and so the, one of the major, the major functions of the leaf is photosynthesis, which is making of the plant's food. So, the other function is making food. That making food, we are going to learn it in the next chapter, what we call photosynthesis. Number two, the leaves in some plants, some plants store their food in the leaf. So store food in some plants. And also, when we are doing photosynthesis, there is a process called transpiration, whereby the plant loses its byproduct. Uh, the water that is not needed by the plant, it is lost through the leaves. So we can also say, a process called transpiration, transpiration happens in the leaves. So majorly, these are the parts, uh, these are the functions of leaf. So we have number, this was number three, and then we have number four, where now we have the fruit, the flowers, uh, the flowers, the flower. Now the flower does not have a lot of functions, because it becomes the seed. It becomes the seed. Lana, you like flowers? Flowers, if you take the flower from a plant, you have denied that, pla that plant to give birth to its seed. So flower is very important. Don't even touch it when you see it's in a plant. It's like the plant has taken food, it has given its food, and then when it wants to give the, the fruit, you have taken the fruit before it matures. So number five, we have the fruit. We have the fruit. So the fruit becomes, becomes the, the seed. So the seed is what now is inside the fruit. So what do you eat? You eat the fruit, but inside the fruit, like for example, mango, mango you eat the juice that is outside, and even some people eat the kaffa. But the seed inside is what then is planted to become a plant. So again, we have the fruit as an external part of the plant, which becomes the seed. Very important. Lana, have you understood the functions of the external part of the plant? I hope you can revise and check your notes, because I know you have been taking the notes, and I want to add there. Thank you. We we'll meet next time.